Mach das, mach was. Fucking. Yes. Uh, we've got the uh, rear foot peg, the um, master of fucking reach over there and grab it. Uh, there we go. So we've got the uh, foot peg for the Z900 and I just want to basically turn this into a bracket that can hold onto the exhaust. So at the moment you can see that we have the mounting points up here and the best way to look at it is if you put that parallel point it at you there we go you put that parallel there like that then that's where the angle of that is and this is where this is and all this shite so I, I wanted to take this off as one complete piece because then I know where this hole should be so I can see and now I need to get a piece of paper or cardboard <laughs> So, bit of paper, lay it on there, and then that's it. <laughs> so what I want to do is that's where the flat is. Um, so I need something under here to support it. How high is that? That's exactly that high. Right. Who fucking knows? Who cares? What about this? Is this the right heat? Yeah, there we go. Oh, nearly there. Close enough. Right, so if I put that on there like that, you, can you see this? Yeah, you can kind of see this. Right, so what I can do is go hole there, we know that's flat. Hole there. Hole there. Then what I'm going to do is just come straight down and just trace around it. So... Straight down, trying to keep them as parallel as I can. There we go. And then just to make it pretty, do that weird little gap in there. Right, from above, that looks right. Right, great. So, now I have that. And that is a rendition. No, oh, it doesn't go that way, does it? You really sad. Uh, 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 uh. Now I need a ruler. A ruler. And what I can do is I can measure that, and that's exactly 190 mil. Oh, let's say from there to there. And this is that 72.5 bullshit in it. Come on, give me it back. Center to center, yeah, there we go, 72.5. So we know basically our scale is right. Yeah, if I've traced around these holes and then measured them. So now we've got this wonderful, it's fucking horrible. And then what we can do in a sense, you can do the same kind of thing. You can just look straight down. Look what hole you're looking through. Try and keep this thing flat. Look straight down. I can see 19 in there in that hole. It's not the best way to do it. We, we need to be approximate. You know what I mean? But you can see from this that down this line it intersects this down. <laughs> Let me get this right. Down this line it intersects quite right. Look, it's bump out. Now. To, t to show what I'm talking about, this thing was bumping on the back of my heel, you could see that. You can also see on the underside of this aftermarket bracket, aftermarket bracket, this is painted by Kawasaki, and she looks wonderful. This, on the other hand, it's on an edge, you know, and all this looks it's all just chipping off. Bit of stainless steel, though, I'll give them that, they didn't have to make that out of stainless, because that edge is exposed. You can also see there, she's peeling off around the knuckle there. There's some, oh, and the tops, fucking hell. It's bloody peeling off everywhere. Too tight a radius. Fucking bastards. Aftermarket shit, right? You know, this thing's been on here for how long? Uh, maybe almost a year. You know what I mean, since January. Uh, 
Mar uh, February. Yeah. Almost the end. She's already fucking coming to pieces. The radius of these edges, then it won't chip off like this. And that's a thing to, you know, if you're going to do your own brackets and stuff like that. So first thing I want to do is take this all apart. So now we've got our basically our template. We know where this hole is, this hole is. We've got this so we can measure that angle if we really want to. around doing that. But you can get what I mean. And you can use that in loads of different ways of when you're making all sorts of shite. Free your mind. Uh, it's back or blade. I'd much rather have a, a um, eclipse blade, but beggars can't be choosers. How are we going to grab this? Am I going to be able to get in there? I do love these vices, right? So the old woodworking vices, it's got two main pins. This thing comes, it literally it's got like a fucking two foot gap and then some clever bastard, and it is a clever thing to do if you're doing, you know, having a, a vice like this, this is massive and it's great for pressing little things together and so on, but putting wood massive MDF jaws on it, it's not a bad idea because you can just grab stuff like this. We're not bothered with snaps, but you get what I mean. You can grab that, and uh, hopefully I can get in there. And I'm basically cutting uh, closest to the, the boss. <laughs> as close to the boss in a straight line that I could get, you know what I mean? I want to leave, you know, like they say, adding material is more of a twat than removing it. So easy to remove it. Do I want a shark fin it next or can I use, I want to cut across there, leave as much of that on as I can. Um, or do I just want to grab? Let's cut the shark fin. Fuck it. At least that gives us a good purchase on there. My fucking voice is going again. No. She's rolling. Um, I can't see for looking. I could put it that way, I suppose. If I break then, shit happens. And there will be people screaming at the camera going, do it this way, yeah, but the thing is, yeah, whatever. <laughs> Sick of arguing with people. Um, because you've got to try and get it in shot, you know what I mean? And not be in the way. cast pieces are useless fucking useless right so that's that cleaned up now oh hang about I'm not going to grab this very hard because I don't want to bow it
That edge off, there's like a little bit. And the reason why is I can now grab this. Oh, fucking hellfire. <laughs> Might be using the other little, little smaller vice, but that's pretty squarish. Um, I grab that like that, is that going to allow me to? Oh, good, cut that way. There we go. No, it's not the best frame shot ever. There we go. I just want to cut across these now. Just hope I don't hit the fucking bench. Um, there. Job done. Hope that makes sense. I'll see you in a bit. <laughs> uh, yeah, so we need to. I need to turn this into something. There's some casting blemishes, very tiny little spots have been painted over. Um, but it is a nice casting, I must say. That parting line in there is very well hidden. Got a few little scratches, that doesn't matter. Uh, so what I want to do now is, now that I've done the hacking, literally, um, I want to machine off this protrusion here, so this silver that you can see sticking up, I want to cut that off so it's flush, because that's a nice straight line. I want to machine off these stumps, so the level with this, so we'll use that as our data, and we'll just touch off on this and then machine all that flat. Um, might even go further, but I don't know. Oh, no, she's quite thick. And then, this back curve here literally almost aims for the the flat bottom of this. So I want to see if we can do that. And that'll mean taking... Eh, we'll see. We might actually even fill in this bit. So that's a, a, a sweeping radius in there. And I kind of want to come straight like off this curve down. But we'll see. What we'll do is machine all that. I might even take out all of this casting support on the inside. Make it all flush in the back. It's quite substantially thick, is this? We'll see. We're just winging it. Let's clean it up and then see where, see where, and see what's what. Might just machine these off as well, these lumps, so they're flush with this square. Yeah, that'll go. That'll go. And like I say, when we've got our drawing, we can then match this back up to this on the flat, obviously, not by doing like this. 
but I can kind of see where I have to go. And it's along this back edge. It's along this back edge. I need to follow that out. Right. Let's stop yapping. Let's get cracking. Dropping. Every time. Every time. <laughs> Oh! I'll stop there a minute. Don't know why you can see that, but I wanted the camera pick it up nice. There, can you see right there? It's just the one right there, a little black bit. I'll grab my phone. So that there is a that's porosity. That's what we're talking about when we talk about porosity in castings. There's a void of nothing. Right, how level is this? Oh, it's pretty level to me. We'll find out. That, <coughs> excuse me, bloody voice is drying out. The voice is drying out. That is pretty damn good for flatness. I don't mean the way I set it, I've literally just eyeballed it and tightened the chuck down, uh, to tighten the vice down. That, on their part, for you know, for this is just a, this will be, you know, not the best injection molding you've ever seen. It's a bloody rear foot peg for fuck's sake. But that's pretty flat. You know, we're touching it everywhere, but right there, there's just this low spot. You know what I mean? And that's fuck all. <laughs> right, so let's see how low that is. Oh, you fucking wanker. Someone's turned the... Oh, forget it. But yeah, we'll take another pass. So there you can see that little black dot that's still got paint in it. That's where the injection pin was. And that's, God, I don't know, fucking 120, 150 microns, something like that. So where the ejection pin has pushed down to eject the part, it's just collapsed it ever so slightly. But that's pretty fucking good going.
fucking camera, you wanker. Right then, so I've gone, ooh, a bit too, a bit too much on there. Ever since like that step is gonna be 50. Well, it's not the end of the world, we can blend that in. Um, it really isn't the end of the world, you'll see. I'll take a picture of it just so you can see. It's almost just taken the paint off. <laughs> Trying to get an angle. Yeah, it's not, it's, it's fuck all, I can hardly feel it, but can you feel it? Um, that's kind of where I want to go with that. Fucking hell. I'll tighten that up. <laughs> yeah, so, oh, there we go. So there's a, an edge on there that you, you can't really fuck it. It's actually curved. This profile is slight, this profile is slightly curved and it's amazing fucking close as you can see where it curves away there where it stops touching paint <laughs> touching cloth right on this one again I kind of want to let's kind of do that kind of follow that line and see what we're left with afterwards let's do that bit Plunge cup it though. Oh, well, mm, 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 mm. we can't grab them sides because they've got a radius on them. Oh, ah, 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 is there enough of a flat? I could always machine a flat into it. Yeah, I could do. Because I was talking about getting rid of that radius, the rate oh, you can't see shit. I'm getting rid of the radius that's in there and, and blending this all in. Well, actually, that's a good point because she's gonna have to do that anyway. this up. I want to put a flat on the same. Now that's not fucking square is it you dickhead. Oh she's now dead nuts. So I'll do is machine a flat into this back so I can grab it like that. Them. So these two flats that I've just put on, so this entire bottom bit's going to get fucked. Uh, fucked off. <laughs> fucked. <laughs> yeah, fuck now. Um, yeah, so I want to put them flats on it so I can grab the little fucking knife. Uh, so now I've done that, I now have two flats that I know are parallel to each other at least. And then I can stick this... Oh, Stick this in here and have at the bottom. And because I've done the flats, I know that all I have to do is rest it against that shelf. 
and she's square and true and everything. The fucking camera keeps on. Why is it me who keeps on moving the bloody camera? Never I've got 20 minutes left of battery, so let's hope this isn't that long. Yeah, so basically now what I want to do is just go around and clean all this up and try and get rid of some of the material, not all of it. I don't want to do a flat because it will break. <laughs> um, I just want to remove... Sends old camel to bed, damn it! Right then, so this is where I've got so far, and then this is the end of me. The end of me. I'm going to die. This is the end of today's little escapade. I've got other shit to do, I've got places to be, all that rubbish. So, <coughs> that's just all. Um, that's that face. You can see we've just basically flattened it off, put two flats on it. This entire fillet in here. I need to, um, what I want to do with this is my good friend, good friend, uh, Frank is going to weld this up for me. Frank does a lot of alloy wheels and shit like that, so he's very used to um, welding on cast, uh, which is obviously of great importance here, soon as though she's cast. Um, so I need to prep this, you know. This isn't just, this isn't the end, this is just the end of part one. Um, but what I want to do is I'll have to uh, take all this paint off. I'm actually going to strip the paint off all of it. Um, I've got some Ka the Kawasaki paint, so this paint's on order. Um, and as you can see, we've got. If you can, I don't know how well you can see it. Where's that backboard I used? There we go. So if I put this on here like this, you can see that back edge there, uh, there you see, you can see it's in line with it, ish. It's close enough for me. So, um, that back edge is cleared up. On the back side, and I'll bring you in for this, um, on the back side you can see what I've done is there's all that weird malarkey blah 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 blah. I might take, once I've fucking finished and actually spent time looking at it instead of recording bloody videos, um, all I've done is cleaned out everything, so now there's one or two tiny little, um, in, you know, uh, porosity basically gaps, voids of nothing. One or two, not many, really, at all. Um, you see, I just free-handed this, just went in with the mill and just nibbled here, nibbled there, and got rid of all that webbing rubbish. Um, and I've, you know, people might say, well, you could have done a neater job by doing a, you know, a smaller radius end mill. The reason why I carried on with the, the 10 is because, um, one, I can't bother changing it, but number two is I need to be able to allow Frank to get in there. There's no point having a fucking 6mm deep, 3mm wide trough if Frank can't get in there, you know what I mean? So even this really, I might even open this up a bit more, like I said, I need to sit down and have a look at it. Um, on the back side... You see we've got this curve coming down and then I kind of want it to follow ish that line because we are actually out um, displacement wise uh, if we put this back on there pretty much where it was around about you can see that we're jutting out out that way so I kind of want to make this not just follow this line not just follow this line here go down but out yeah I'll, well, I don't know yet like I say what I can do is is I can get this bit and just offer it up and see where I need to go you know it's it's all about taking your time a bit of trial and error and stuff like this but once we've got this fillet in here or whatever I decide to do with it once all this is filled in um, 
at the same time I'm going to basically put a, a, a slot in this and then add some more aluminium at the bottom so sticking out that will just basically slot in there so Frank can like I said this is just to quickly get rid of all the shit and all the rest of it so we can see what we're doing um, you can then tack it in weld it in you know I'll do all the weld prep of base I'll basically just give him the parts and say this is a template make it fit this with this and this and this and what I want Frank to do is basically just overfill everything you know absolutely fill everything so then after the fact I can then machine any bits that need machining and basically just be file work and stuff like that even the hole I'll make sure that we've got a blank and then when we offer it back up to the bike and see where the exhaust goes I can fit that hole where it needs to be and then after all of that it's basically taught it's all about blending this into this so it's a perfect match and then once it's a perfect match and once I'm completely happy then spray the fucker and then she can go back on the bike we can take the ghetto fix bracket off <coughs> get rid of this you know that's sort of pull out get rid of this well we've done that bit get rid of this well we've done that bit get rid of all this shit this shit this shit pins all this shark fins bearing uh, bearing washers get rid of all of that crap and basically you have something very similar to this obviously not looking like this but it's just going to be a bracket with a hole in the end imagine that little dot there's the hole imagine this was it finished you get what I mean all painted black. It'll basically just be a one part clip on that just bolts on and it looks, I'm gonna fucking say it, it looks factory. This will all bend in. All of these um, chamfers on the corners, they will all blend in. Like I say, this is probably too thick up here, upstairs, um, but she's getting mighty thin down here. And I want Frank, in a sense, to fill this in, give me as much meat as possible, as much stuff to then shape something out of it and it might slightly change you know i might do it and go do you know what that needs more of a sweep back and then i can machine that bit off um so usually frank finishes these things himself i don't want him to do that i want to see the raw not see the raw weld i want it all left so i just i can play with it and you know make the material do what be the shape i want it to be and then like i say this can just clip on then and then we're fucking laughing, you know, it's a one part trick pony, instead of all this shit, you know, I have said before that I don't know why for these sports bikes and hyper naked, super duper, suck you off naked, whatever they want to fucking call them these days, market wankers, I don't know why they don't make them single carriage bikes, and then there is an option, an optional extra where you pay more for the rear pillion seat and the pillion pegs. It would save them so much money because loads of people take all this shit off. We've got a bushing in there with these two end caps and this bit of aluminium. We've got shark fins, we've got fucking these. We've got a bracket, well that's for the aftermarket exhaust. Forget that for a minute. But these bolts, these fittings, these washers, these pins, these parts, this foot peg, all this kind of shine. They are spending this money on every single bike that they, every Z900 they make. And it's like, you got to times this by two and the pillion seat and all that shit. And I'm just like, why? The fucking thing, the thing doesn't have the shocks to take a pillion. You know what I mean? Uh, why? Why spend all this money? You know, some fuckers got to assemble this. There's got to be an assembly line just to put this fucking thing together, which can be a pain in the ass with some of them, especially with the ones with springs on. Um, why? Why do it? Why not just have these and all the rest of it as an optional extra and just make one of these a simple bracket that just holds the fucking exhaust on? I don't get it. You know, you might say, well, it's one of these and they're just adding this shit in. But these, the part count, you know, all these, that has to be machined. This has to be cast. They have to buy these boilers. They have to buy these washers, buy these fucking what nuts and washers and bloody bolts and that washer there and... The casting is a bit more. They then got to get bushes. It's just like, fucking why? It seems silly to me when the bike can't even, you know, you would not want to be a pillion on the Z900 for fuck's sake. Even if I wasn't such a fat cunt, I just would not want to be a pillion on that fucking hell. You know what I mean? It's, it's, that seat is 
horrific, you know. And no, no, just no. <laughs> so that's like I say, that's just the thought process. This will probably get trimmed off at an angle like this, you know what I mean? You just don't cut it until I know what I'm doing first, you know, what I want to do with it. Once I know what I want to do with it, then I can fucking get on and do it. But I need to offer it up to the bike, as is in a sense, you know, technically. I also need to drop it on the floor another three times. Um, and we'll count them, that's number one. <coughs> it might have been number two, I can't remember if I've dropped it yet. Um, but you know what I mean, it has to, you, you put it on, you offer it up, you look at it, you go, eh, yeah, or eh, no, don't like that. Oh, let's go that way. Oh, ooh, I didn't think about bending it out that way. You know, that kind of shite. You know, that, weirdly enough, that this alignment issue where it's slightly cocked out to one side, like, so there it is, and it's cocked out this way. It's only cocked out by... Where did this go? I know that went there. And then this... Yeah, it's not really cocked. It's not like it went that way. It's not really cocked out. It's actually this bracket brings it back. So in a sense, I think we are in line. It'd be like basically just welding on a piece of aluminium. No. Almost welding on a piece of aluminium like that, in a sense. you know. So we're just extending this out. And it's not really that much of a reach. Let's have drawing. So right now, we're there. We're not far off. At all. That's where the bottom of that line there is where the bottom of this is. You know, this, this, this bottom bit. So that's why I marked that on there. So we haven't got far to go. How far is that? How far do we have to go, Terry? And are we there yet? So really, we only have to extend this. Inches! Fucking uses inches. Twats. 45 millimetres. You know, it's not really that much. <coughs> you know, and... Um, yeah. Make it good. Hope that makes sense. Oh, it's not stuck on my fucking hand. It's a big bit of steel that was a bit. Motherfucker. Hope that makes sense. I'll see you in a bit.